Derek Griff Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome and thanks for joining me in today's video. I want to talk to you about one of my favorite new toys, the Green Screamer Overdrive from uh, my friends at BBE. Um, I, I happen to have a, a great friend that I uh, have played many, 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 many gigs with over the years, uh, works over there, hipped me to this pedal. And uh, as you may or may not know, uh, a Screamer style pedal, whether that be uh, a Boss Super Overdrive, um, so, or I sometimes use a Klon style overdrive, which is kind of similar to me. They, they have that mid-range focus. Obviously, I have a bunch of different Tube Screamer style pedals. Some are green, some are red, some are blue. <laughs> you get the idea. There's a lot of them out there. What I love about this guy here, though, is this, this little deep switch. Um, it's got like you know, the 4558 chip or whatever. I'm, you know, if you know me, I'm not a gearhead. I, like, I don't know, oh, this has the fancy magical pixie dust chip. I, I don't know, I don't care. That's not my deal. Does it sound like a screamer? Yes, it sounds like a screamer, okay? But for the same reason that I often get screamers modified, which is to adjust the low end and sometimes to sweeten the top end, this one, I love the top. I, I think it sounds fantastic. Um, you can hear it sounds like nothing when it's not on, but when it's on. Right, so that. Now, you might wonder why is it so quiet with it off? Well, I, I, I set it for unity gain with my Les Paul, <laughs> but I'm playing my 69 Strat at the moment. So when I play my Strat, the pickups have much lower output. So I'm pretty much, I don't ever run. This is just my, my regular old, my 11 rack uh, set to a super reverb. It, it works very, very well. And a lot of times when, I, when I'll do a gig uh, it, that's not here in the North Texas area and I'm using like backline amps or something, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, it's really, it's typical, like I'll ask them for like a Fender Twin or a Fender Super or something like that because that's sort of a good, bass tone to work with, right? If it's good enough for Stevie Ray Vaughan, it's good enough for me, right? Super reverbs are awesome. So I'm using my Super Reverb emulation on my 11 rack, and then I add the Green Screamer. And I get those kind of great bluesy. So, you might wonder, why do I have all these other pedals here? What are they for? Well, a couple of different things. Uh, a lot of times, I need a little bit more oomph, okay? So, again, because I tend to often use amps that aren't mine, um, if, if it's my amp, I'll usually run it into a Marshall, okay? So, like, a, I have a Marshall Silver Jubilee head that I really love. I have an old uh, 2203 uh, JMP. 100 watt, um, I have the Plexi, the JTM 45100, I have a variety of Marshalls. I tend to like Marshalls. I love the Fender sound as well. I, I, I like both. Uh, I have a Deluxe Reverb, I have several other amps that have very Fender-y style um, clean tones like that. But if, if I'm running my own stuff, I, I probably wouldn't have this pedal. I would just have these two, okay? But if I'm running into a clean, totally, totally clean amp, as this is, <laughs> and I need more oomph, I'm gonna do it with this guy. So by itself, and that probably doesn't sound like a ton of gain, and it's not supposed to be a ton of gain. On my Silver Jubilee, I run the gain at like three. I, I don't, I don't, have the amp totally cooking. I don't I don't need it that way. I just need it to have a little bit of overdrive. Just like you would do. Like if you had a super reverb and you could crank it up, the sweet spot is not 10 typically. The sweet spot is around five or six or seven where it's it's compressing, it's giving you a little bit of drive, but it's not all squished out and messy and ugly. I don't run the plexi that way. I wouldn't run a super that way. I don't run my uh, 2203 that way. I don't run any of them that way, okay? I just want them to to cook, <laughs> for lack of a better word, right? So this cooks nicely. Sometimes I use a Boss Blues driver. I have a Keeley modded Boss Blues driver that I use in this in this position. 
Um, I've tried the new uh, Keeley AT mod in this position. They all work well. It, you just, it just depends on the amp that you're dealing with. I've been using this lately, the Super Crunchbox, because of the, the multi-band EQ. That makes it, again, when I'm dealing with an amp that's not mine, I don't know what I'm gonna get, this will handle it. Okay, this will, this will solve whatever tonal issues there might be. And you'd be amazed how often that is the case. Okay, so that's where I'm at. So I add the Green Screamer to that. still back off on the volume. Right, I can get my kind of rhythm sound. And that's all right there. Now, like I was talking about, I really dig this little switch. <laughs> it's funny, I, I was just thinking, wow, that sounds a little light in the low end. Um, I usually run it in position one, and right now I didn't have it on position one. Position one is just a touch more of that low end that I like to hear. Okay, now I've had many, many screamers modded in the past to get that little bit of extra low end. It's a very common mod that you can get. I, I like that I don't have to on this one. Now, whether or not you're actually gonna hear that on the video, hard to say, okay? Okay, so here's at zero with no bass mod. If I go here to one, it's probably not gonna sound much different. This is a very subtle effect. If I go to two, it's even more. What I will tell you though, unequivocally, is that you will feel it. <laughs> it's, it's like when I hit that hard, okay, in, in the zero position, it reacts super quickly, which is what you would expect. When I go to one, I get just a little bit of an argument about it. <laughs> It's like the it's like the low end is lazy, right? The low end doesn't doesn't want to move, and so it's it starts to sort of lay back a little bit. Again, just like an old super would do when you get it to about five or six, and it kind of feels like that low end's like, okay, finally, right? It's it's a, it's that little bit of argument. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's what I like. So it. It, 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 it's again, I know it's gonna be hard to hear. It's probably gonna not come across in the video super good, but you will absolutely feel it. And again, if you're used to vintage fenders, you will definitely, you know, feel that. So I like it with that little bit of extra low end because I think it stacks so well. And you might think that when I use the neck pickup, it wouldn't. But it, it doesn't get all flubby. And again, if I back that volume off, right, so I don't, I don't have to step on a bunch of pedals. I love that. I can pretty much leave these two pedals on all night long. Just, just let them go. That's it. Just leave them there and play the whole gig, right? Just, just from right here. And if I was playing on an amp that already had a little bit of that in it, or for example, if I'm going to a jam session, right? Um, I always used to take, uh, I have an old Zen drive that I always used to take when I go to, to jams or whatever. But with this guy, again, because of that, that bass, how I can tailor that bass response, assuming that the amp already has a little bit of grunt to it, that's all I need. Just throw it down and, and off we go. It's very, very, very quick. And again, I can play, if I want to, I can play the whole night. I never have to turn anything on or off. I can do it all from the volume knob. 
that's the way I like it to work. So um, anyway, hopefully this kind of gives you a feel. Uh, just to just to I'll say address the elephant. <laughs> the rat is here as a different variety. Um, I've always I've always loved rat style pedals, not by themselves. It's a little bit too thin for me by itself, and you'll notice I have the distortion way, way, way down. If you want more of like a rock, a rock thing, right? You can you can definitely do that with these pedals. If you have a, a lot of low end in your amp, but that's not how I use them. I use them actually to cut bass, so to add to something like a Marshall. So you might think it does very much the same thing as what the Green Screamer does. And I would say that it is similar, but it is substantially different. Um, I would be playing a Les Paul if I was using the Rat for one thing. You need the, the extra chunk. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's no low end in that Rat. So <laughs> you, you, need the, you need a little bit more. Uh, I would probably use, be using the Les Paul and I'd be playing more rock stuff probably on the Rat. Generally speaking, when I'm playing blues on a Strat or a Tele, uh, this is this is the way to go for me. And again, the crunch box, like I said, it's just sort of filling a role. Okay, um, it, it it fills the role very well, as does again like my Keeley uh, modded blues driver or their new AT mod works also very well. The top end and the bottom end are very so slightly different on those. So you know, pick pick how it go pick with what works best with your amp and with your rig. Uh, so anyway, I hope you dig that. Um, as always, you know, if you have guitar playing friends that you think would dig this, uh, you know, the Green Screamer is a, is a great uh, TS style pedal. Um, it's just what I've been using lately, so I hope you dig it. And uh, share this video around. If you got friends that are guitar players, you think they would get something out of this, whether it be the Green Screamer itself or just kind of how the stacking works, uh, please feel free to share it with them, all right? I'm Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.